NASA's mission is to explore the unknown. What we know about the universe is a tiny fraction of what's actually out there. In the search for answers, it launches its scientists into space, its craft beyond the limits of the solar system. We have no idea what's out there. Hey, what is that? It might be dangerous lurking in the darkness. We run across more mysteries than discoveries. We don't know what it's going to throw at us next. These are NASA's Unexplained Files. NASA's Mars rover captures an image of a shadowy shape on the red planet's surface. You look at this thing and you do a double take. It looks like it's crashed spacecraft on Mars. The photograph causes an online frenzy of excitement. Now we found some real evidence for alien presence. October 10th, 2012. Day 64 of Curiosity Rover's exploration of Mars. Curiosity Rover is looking for evidence that Mars was once habitable. And to do that, we have all these amazing scientific instruments on the rover, including these incredible color cameras. Curiosity searches the 96-mile wide Gale Crater for signs of the water that once flowed across the red planet. Among the rocks, one of Curiosity's 17 onboard cameras captures an image of something strange. The shot grabs the attention of UFO hunters. That image goes up on the web, and there's instant fury about what it could possibly be. Analyst Mark D'Antonio examines the image for clues. At first glance, the image looks relatively normal, a bunch of rocks. We see this all the time on Mars. However, down here is a fairly strange object. What could it be? The object's shape has aroused speculation. It's a product of extraterrestrial engineering. It looks like your typical UFO saucer-shaped craft. Skeptics argue it is more likely to be an unusual rock formation. One argument against this being a crashed alien spacecraft is to say, hey, look, it's the same color as all the sand and rocks around it. But the evidence available from the image is not definitive. Maybe it actually is a metallic object, only it's been sitting on Mars for so long, it's now coated with Martian dust, and it blends into the landscape. Of course, there's a lot of dust on Mars that gets blown around, so everything's going to look the same color after a while. Perhaps the most intriguing explanation is that it could be a secret NASA craft. NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory is working on next-generation drone technology. In 2015, JPL announced that they're developing a helicopter scouting drone that will be used to survey the Martian surface to look for the best routes for the rovers. NASA's advanced microcopter has super high-speed rotor blades to take it 330 feet up in the thin Martian atmosphere. Getting this tiny craft to Mars would require a fraction of the effort of a manned mission. Does JPL have advanced technology that we're not aware of that has already been sent to Mars? Could this program have started years before we were told about it? NASA claims their Mars helicopter is at a prototype stage. NASA is still working on making this helicopter drone work. We're not even sure it will be ready in time for the upcoming mission, which will be sent to Mars in 2020. Experts also question why NASA would keep such an important technological breakthrough secret. My gosh, that would be a tremendously big story that we have drones on Mars. You'd be seeing the photos from them. There'd be all sorts of press releases. It would be one of the most interesting things NASA's ever done. If the mystery object in Curiosity's photo is a futuristic drone, it is unlikely to have come from NASA. In the course of exploring Mars, a number of craft have landed on the planet. NASA analysts consider the theory 
the unexplained object could be the remains of a rival space agency's doomed probe. Russia has launched a total of 19 craft towards Mars. Only five have reached the planet. But simple math rules out the idea the mysterious object is a Soviet lander. All of the Soviet Mars series of landers from the 70s, all of which failed on descent, all of those can be accounted for. The Soviets aren't the only space agency to send spacecraft to Mars. Maybe it's the remains of one of our own spacecraft that crash landed on the red planet. The question is, which one? There's only one lander whose exact landing location is not known at all, and that's the Beagle 2. The Beagle 2, a compact European space agency lander, only three feet wide, began its descent through the Martian atmosphere on Christmas Eve 2003. Beagle 2 entered the Martian atmosphere to go look for life at the surface of Mars. But then, contact with it was lost. Some suggest the Beagle 2 might be the unidentified object in Curiosity's image. Analyst Mark D'Antonio compares European Space Agency photographs of Beagle 2 with Curiosity's image. This is flat on top, so is this. It's round on the bottom, this appears to be round on the bottom. But there's a problem. This is the wrong shape. This is a longer curve, this is a shorter curve. This can't be that. In spite of the inconsistencies, the Beagle 2 theory continues to provoke debate. Then, in December 2014, NASA receives crucial new data from its ambitious Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter. NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter has a camera called HiRISE that takes pictures with a footprint that's comparable in size to that Beagle spacecraft. The MRO spots an unusual glint of light from the Icetus Planitia Basin. Light that could be reflected by the metallic surface of a lost craft. Upon close inspection, it turns out that that's the Beagle 2 lander. NASA's MRO confirms Beagle 2 rests just two miles from its intended touchdown. But it's 2,000 miles away from the mystery object discovered by Curiosity. The Beagle has landed, but not anywhere near where Curiosity is scouring the landscape. NASA's MRO solves the mystery behind the disappearance of the Beagle 2. But the solution sheds no light on the greater mystery, the strange object discovered by the Curiosity rover.